So this is going to be a continuation of a, a different tutorial. Um, I showed you before how to apply retouching um, in conjunction with LUTs and other texture effects like contrast or any kind of a texture manipulation. Um, so in this one, I'm going to just show you how to apply uh, face deformation because a lot of people are confused about how that works exactly. Um, so you can see uh, right now we've got um, segmentation. Uh, the skin smoothing is working. You can see it on my face. Um, so to apply face deformation, um, first of all, I gotta drag it in. Um, this face deformer is just from the Facebook example files. Um, you can get it in, it's not in the newer version anymore because there's all that controversy um, about plastic surgery. Um, so you'll have to go back a few versions. I grabbed this one from version 69, but it will also be in the project files. Uh, this will be up on GitHub, by the way. Um, it's built off of Alan Berger's project, um, and I'll, I'll push to my own repository um, with this project. So that'll be in there. Um, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, you just go to the, the normal face, not the retouching. I'll actually uh, demo this. So maybe people will run into this problem. You can't add a de deformation um, to uh, retouching. So you have to add it to the normal face. But other than that, it's just straightforward. You apply it and, and it works. Um, and just to demo, like this, this is already the, the same general setup for the LUTs, but I'll apply one quickly anyway, just so uh, you can see it working. I'm going to give this uh, super orange LUT just to be very apparent. There you go. Um, and then, so that's this just for the segmentation layer, and then we have to apply it to the face texture as well. You can see there is a problem. And that's it. So color LUTs with face deformation and retouching, all in one. Um, just to confirm, I'm going to show you smoothing. Still working. Um, I know that this was a super short tutorial, so I'm going to throw in a bonus. Um, if you go and tweak these values, you know, they're, they're good and fun. Um, but you'll notice they're constrained from 0 to 100. So you might think, oh, that's those are the values that work. Um, but actually, if you manually type in, uh, I'm going to do 200, you get some crazy stuff going on. Um, you can get some like super weird glitchy things happening by um, going beyond these bounds. Um, and, I mean, you can go to 200, but you can also go to negative 200. And sometimes it works. Yeah, so now my eyeball is super small. Um, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, uh, please hit subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.